Alright guys and gals, motorized bicyclist. As you could see, the red bike's looking a little different, huh? So, I was gonna record the whole process. I know, but... I, uh, I usually work by myself, I'm working in my room. And today, I, uh, I was... My, my light just went out, good thing the light on the phone is on. Anyway, today, I, my mom didn't have to work, and so I did it out all out in the living room. And I just kind of talked to her while I was doing it. So it just wasn't the best setting for recording. But as you can clearly see a color difference in that bottom end and that head, this is a brand new head. I had, it had a brand new piston with it. The piston that came with it had a wrist pin and a, a pin a needle bearing in there. And I figured that it would all match right up to the uh, the crank. But when I put it on there, it was the the wrist pin and the and the the needle bearing were way too small. This is just from some oil I spilt on it when I was uh, getting it ready. But when I was getting the cylinder put on. But anyways, the point is, is that I had to use the original piston, which has score marks on it, and which isn't the best. All right, not particularly happy that I had to use the old piston, but I put the new piston rings on the old piston since the old piston had a broken ring, and then I, uh, I put it all together, and it's running halfway decent. I hit 31 miles per hour so far. I'm not trying to push it too much farther since I literally just rebuilt it today, but um, it's, it's running halfway decent. I would like to get it running better, I'm not going to lie. I have a, uh, a 72 jet. Ooh, ooh. Falling over. Anyways, I have a 72 jet in my black bike. And it's on, like, the middle setting, I think, on the carb. Maybe it's, like, one lean. But, uh, it's running decent, you know? I mean, you guys watch the video. If you watch the hour-long video I posted of the ride, it was running all right. And it's running even better now. So that's good. But then this bike, it's not... It's got a 70 jet in there. I tried a 75. I tried the stock. I tried a 72... 72 seems to be the best. I put it completely in the middle, and like I said, hit 31. It does have a lot less compression than this bike. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it could just be because it's not fully broken in yet. Maybe the rings need a seat. But if I grab onto that rear tire and I spin it, this tire, this feels like it has way more compression than the builder I just built. Which, you know, I, I'm not mad about. I'm happy that the motor even fired up. It was the first, uh, the first motor I've ever rebuilt. I do have a video of the first fire up. I had my mom come out with me to watch me start it, and she recorded for me. Um, so I'll probably add that at the end here of a video of it running after the rebuild. But uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, it's it's dark outside as you can see, and I just I ran this bike out of gas trying to get it tuned right, and so I just mixed up some more gas, filled it up, filled this bike up. Oh, also my chain broke on this. Fucking awesome. Ordered a new chain. I have a new tire showing up. I gotta do a bunch of shit to this bike. It just makes me mad. Because I, I, at least I got a working bike for now. But this GDH power head is really nice. It's got some really nice fins. Like if you, they're not perfect. But they're, they're casted in sand. So what are you going to expect? And then you look at like these ones. Th those ones are way worse. I mean there's a big fucking like chunk out of that fin. Which is factory. I mean I never hit it off anything. You could see it has a rounded edge. Or it's been sandblasted. Um... But this one is just a way nicer. It's got a tiny little divot right there. But even that, it's just where the sand is a little bit worse. But uh, definitely a different casting for the head when CDH Power did this one. I don't know if what... <sighs> Sorry. I get talking and then I run myself out of breath. I like to talk. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I don't know who casted that head. Or the bottom end, to be fair. It, all, it came together. I bought this as a kit. Um, but you could just tell that this is just a worse casting. You could see also right here that it has like those. And then if you look at this one, it's got like a fully welded layer. It's just kind of weird. I've never seen that. But then like, it's just a way cleaner casting. It still has those little marks, but it's just way cleaner. But uh, anyways, now that I got you guys updated and I showed you that I rebuilt it, I'm going to put the writing video at the end. I had my mom send those to me, so you guys are going to be able to see that. Um.
Thanks for tuning in. Stay updated for the next ride video between one of them. Have fun.